Hi guys and ladies, John here and welcome back once again to my channel and today we're looking at another ship in the 2.1 PTU hangar and today it's the Aegis Dynamics Vanguard. Now basically the Vanguard is your heavy long range fighter and uh, it's actually at the moment pretty much work in progress some things may well change on this ship now the standout feature on the vanguard warden is this size 5 death ballistic cannon from apocalypse arms now uh, i wouldn't like to be on the end of this beast and it's certainly a case of size does matter now as for other weapons at the moment we have some s2 weapons in the nose of the vanguard and we've got a s2 turret on top we've also got these missiles here now i'm not totally sure whether that placement is final because there are some postings on the rsi ship forums which seem to indicate that the weapons may well be um, in an internal bay but maybe that idea has been dropped um, because there was also an indication uh, on the forum that the original uh, concept design did feature that the top turret uh, was uh, retractable. But at the moment uh, it doesn't seem to uh, appear to be so. But um, we'll have to wait and see. Now at the back we've got a pair of TR4 engines which um, does give the Vanguard some very long range jump capability. Now the Vanguard is about 37 meters long and around 39 meters across. Now there are two other variants of the Vanguard, which are the Sentinel and the Harbinger, but uh, they'll be done at a later time. Now you gain entrance to the Vanguard via this back ramp and uh, as we climb on board I should say that uh, a lot of the fittings in the Vanguard Warden at the moment are definitely not going to be final and will change in the future. Now let's move into the main um, compartment of the Vanguard. Now this is a two-man ship and actually this whole compartment uh, does actually function as a, an escape pod if uh, your ship is unfortunate enough to be uh, seriously damaged you can uh, use it as a bit of a lifeboat now there is a control panel here um, this is very similar to the one on the retaliator so this may well be not final they may well have put this in here just uh, just for the time being now there's a we weapons rack to the left and as we turn around slowly here you can see um, bathroom facilities and a toilet of course. Now there's no door on here because it is a work in progress. So uh, you won't want to go to the loo in the Vanguard at the moment. Now we've got a couple of uh, probably beds here. Yep they're definitely beds and I guess they could function as escape pods, but as the whole section is an escape pod, well, you probably wouldn't use them as that. Couple of lockers, looks like a little workbench here. We'll have to wait and see uh, to see if all of this changes or some of it changes in the future. Now, as we go up into the turret, you'll see that the visibility is uh, pretty good obviously um, early days for this turret yet um, we'll have to wait and see uh, if this is the final design now as we go back down to the main uh, crew deck of the vanguard we go into the next section which um, I guess will serve mostly as um, a space for equipment because there's nothing really here at the moment uh, whether there will be things on the ball here we'll have to wait and see 
obviously there's a lot of uh, internal uh, uh, ship components which would be running through the entire um, hull of the Vanguard, so maybe that's simply a, a space for them. Now to access the pilot's seat, um, the actual seat is on a set of rails, so you don't actually have to walk into the cockpit. You can see here through this third person view how it slides in. So we've made it into the cockpit of the uh, Vanguard and as you will see there's a very nice control panel and some very nice visibility from the pilot's seat. Now obviously uh, the control panel is work in progress. We'll have to wait and see how this turns out when the ship is flyable. Well, that's just a quick look at the Aegis Dynamics Vanguard Warden. So, um, we'll have to come back in the future to see what changes when the ship is flyable. So, until then, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.